to do coconut soup with chicken and a few vegetables. I chose this dish, it's very fragrant and it's of course of a Thai origin. Now, what I love about Thai food is simply the fragrant use of its herbs. That's why it's so popular around the world. Now, this is lemongrass. What I would like you to do is to remove the, the top part of it, which is usually quite dirty with some sand and things like that. Get towards the middle and bruise it a little bit to let out the fragrance even stronger. We bruised it like this and while we're going to simmer this in the coconut milk, it's just going to let out all the flavor. So I would need three of those and I'm going to do the same process for all three. So we we'll use some galanga, which is also known as blue ginger, some kaffir lime leaves, which I would like to pair them to release more fragrance, some black pepper, tofu, baby corn, and some chicken meat. Already cooked chicken meat because I had them from yesterday while making a chicken broth. But you could use fresh chicken meat, like chicken breast cut into thin slices and use them too. I will need about 400 ml coconut milk and about two cups of chicken broth. Let's get cooking this wonderfully lovely fragrant coconut milk soup with tofu, vegetable, chicken meat. You can either use this as a starter or amidst of a main course. Why not? Let's get going. So I'm going to pour in the two cups of chicken broth into a quali. Once you've put the chicken stock in, you also want to put in the coconut milk, 400 ml of it. Now what we're trying to do is to get the whole soup fully flavoured. So I've got three lemongrass bruised at the bottom, like that. In the galanga, five to six slices. And five to six lime leaves torn, just to release the flavor. Now, coconut milk, the technique of cooking with coconut milk. You have to bring the soup to a boil and then let it simmer. You cannot boil coconut milk on a high all the time. This will curdle the milk and leave small bits in your soup and it wouldn't be soft and smooth and silky. So I'm going to wait for it to be, be reached to a boil and I'm going to start simmering for another 15 minutes. So once you see the bubbles at the side bubbling up, means it's starting to boil, all you have to do is to put it on a simmer. Lower the flame and let it simmer for the rest 15 minutes. Once the 15 to 20 minutes are up, you have to strain the soup to get rid of the galanga, the lemongrass, the little bits and pieces there because you're going to have the whole soup. So now let's strain it out. This training, all the ingredients, which is the lemongrass, the lime leaves, the little galanga, bits and pieces are all out. Then you got a clear white soup inside there. You want to pour this back into the pot. You can drop in all your ingredients, your tofu, your chicken, your mushroom, and your baby corn. Once you put all the ingredients in, just move it around a little bit. A teaspoon of black pepper. Salt or fish sauce, a substitute of salt. But make sure you be careful because you've already used chicken broth and if it's from a cube, it's already salty. So you may want to taste it first before doing it. But I will add in a tablespoon of fish sauce. And let it all come to a boil again and simmer it for the next five minutes. If you're using fresh chicken, wait till your chicken is cooked. And that will be it.